Hey everyone, it's Patty from PS Paper Crafts, and I want to show you a fun technique. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with it. It's the um, baby wipe te technique, and we're using baby wipes and our re-inkers. And I'm actually going to make three cards with one baby wipe. And they're all full, fall, so I'm going to just kind of breeze through three different cards, and I think they're all beautiful. I love the different colors with this technique. And this I just learned, I've been watching some Instagrams and um, it's pretty interesting. So I'm sure there's different ways of doing it, but I just went with what I saw and made it my own. So let's get our pieces first, because we're gonna do all three kind of in, uh, in one, <laughs> one step. Well, not one step, but in, uh, with one baby wipe. So I have my three pieces. Luckily, I have uh, grandchildren with wipes, <laughs> so I didn't have to buy any. I don't really use these. A lot of people use them to clean their stamps, but I don't. I have my uh, chamois to do that. But I do like it for this technique and sometimes just cleaning my hands. And I am going to put it in my chamois case. You can put this on anything that's plastic. I mean, it is wet and you are going to get inky, um, so just be aware of that. And I'm just going to fold it into four. I think that's big enough. And let me move these over here. And we'll start with the, uh, the ink, the re-inkers. So you can use your, um, your mat. You can use a, a case like this. Um, you can use your silicone mat or just um, something plastic. So I have my re-inkers and I'm using pumpkin pie, crushed curry, and rich razzleberry. I'm just going to open the top, and there's a lot in these little bottles. For, they're for re-inking your stamp pads, and I'm just going to dot around. And you can also re-ink your markers um, with that. And if you have any uh, questions on that, let me know, and I can help you out. I have a video on that. So then I'll do some pumpkin pie, and I'm just going to fill in some of the white spaces. And each time you do this, it's going to come out different. And each... Uh, stamp that you put on this, depending on where you put it, is going to come out different. And then I'll do the crushed curry. So I thought these were really good fall colors. And I'm just going to fill in. And you just want to dot it around, and it looks like a mess, I know. I just want to get it all filled in. All right. So now we have kind of our ink pad. So let's put these aside. And now I'm going to kind of flip this around so that you're seeing more of this. And I'll get my three pieces. So first I'm going to do my um, cottage wreath. So I'm using this from the cottage wreath dies. And you can keep this, you can even keep it um, in a closed, like a Tupperware or something. And you could probably do some more tomorrow. You can get multiple ones. The only thing with this is you don't want to pick it up and put it down and pick it up and put it down. And after you use it um, a while, it might get kind of murky. I know uh, years ago I did this in a class, and by the time it got around to the last person, we did a new, uh, a new one because it got kind of murky where things got mixed together. So we're just going to press this down, let the ink absorb into the paper a little bit. And even on here, it looks pretty, doesn't it? Isn't that nice? And again, you're going to get a different look each time you do it. So here's the card. And then we're going to, let's do the insides while we're doing them. So on the inside, let me get my inside piece. So let's get, there's other leaves in this, and it's a group of three leaves. So let me get those, and I'll just kind of keep going with it. So we'll just go up here. Isn't this neat? And actually, let me get a piece of scrap paper. So we are gonna get messy here, so I wanna make sure I have a piece of scrap paper. So let's do right up here and in here. And you can go as far down, you could put them down here if you want. So now we have those pieces done. Okay, so let's put these away. And let's move on to the leaves. So with the leaves, I have a piece of, let me just put this together here. 
I have a piece of uh, Very Vanilla, and this is also Very Vanilla. And I'll have all the information on my blog, PSPaperCrafts.com, if you're interested in, in getting the instructions for this. Okay, so now I have this stamp, this big leaf stamp, and this is from the Soft Seedlings, and I love this set. Uh, I actually, it's not mine. I borrowed it from my friend, Hannah. And this is a huge leaf. I don't want all of this. I just want the stem and the top of the leaf. So what I'll do is I'll take some post-it note. I'm going to take two of them because I want to cover. I'm going to leave a little bit of the stem showing and cover these. Okay. And then we're going to stamp it or ink it right in our handmade ink pad. Pull these off. And then we're going to just stamp it up here. Okay. And I like to clean it. And I'm going to reuse these post-it notes. You can use new ones if you wanted. I'll probably use this a couple of times and then get a new one. And we're going to go over, ink it, and I'm going to throw those away, actually. I just want to make sure there's no ink on these. And then we'll come down here. Okay, and we'll clean it off again. Get some more post-it. I love my post-it notes. They really come in handy. You can use the masking tape as well, or that masking paper that we now carry. I haven't really tried that yet. I have to get, get going with it. So I have them just kind of falling. And then I'm going to just clean it off and just do the edge right here. Okay, and then we want to do the inside of the card as well. So I am going to clean it off and use this masking technique again. And I'm going to get new paper. It gets kind of uh, wet, so I think it might the ink might seep through a little bit because the baby wipe is wet. With the ink on it, it's just even wetter. And this paper is very thin. So let's do one more of these. these away and we're going to just come right here for the inside okay so now we're done with that I just want to add these little um, they're the seedlings and I heard somebody call them helicopters I did another video with these and another one was whirl a gig I think it was called which I think is the name I was searching for and we're just going to use our rich razzleberry ink and I'm going to put one here on the inside I didn't put any sentiments on the inside of these cards because they're kind of like you know hello thinking of you they're not um, cards that I would put sentiments on should I put one more over here Okay, so it just kind of fills it in. So now we have this card and the inside. Okay, so that's this one. So we have two cards. And now this last one is one that I, you know, as I said, I recently saw it and I thought, well, I'm going to give that a whirl. Might as well try something each time, right? When you see it, just give it a try. So you're going to take this up and it's very, this is where you're going to get messy and you might want to wash your hands after it. And kind of just fold it up and then you're just going to swipe it down your paper and it's good see I, I stopped there it's better if you do it in one swipe okay so I think it's cool though right so we're gonna throw this away I'll throw it away I'm gonna use this and just wipe this up and then I am going to get a baby wipe. Put this one left in here. We're getting down to the bottom. And just wipe my fingers because um, that got my fingers definitely inky. But it's fun to get inky, right? 
Look at that, I'm getting the whole thing. I'm at the last one, so it's all bunched up together. All right, put that aside. So now we just have to put the cards together. So look at me, I'm all full of ink. But if it's not coming off on this, it's probably okay. All right, so I'm gonna let this dry for a minute and put this away. And let's start with this card. So this is the one with the, um, the cottage wreath. And I cut it, this is three by three. And let me just get those pieces. So that is this one. I've got to get all my pieces together. And this is this one. Okay, and I just stamped this little hello. And that is from the cottage wreath uh, stamp set. And I'm going to do that in rich razzleberry. And then we just have to put it together. Very easy. And you could decide which way you want this, if it's centered better in one direction than the other. Just say hello. A little hello. And I did um, emboss this using the brick embossing folder. Let me pull it out. It's the brick and mortar 3D embossing folder. So I did emboss a piece of Sahara sand and we're just going to get our liquid glue and glue all the pieces together. Put a bow on it and call it a card. So I like to use liquid glue when I have an embossed layer. It gets in all of what I call the nooks and crannies and uh, helps it to adhere. So there's a lot of, you know, highs and lows when you emboss. So actually, this is going on the front. I don't know why I'm putting it on the inside, but that's okay. Because we could just fold it. Okay. And then on this one, I used a piece of um, the foam adhesive sheets. These sheets, you can just cut them any size you want. It's really great. So I just cut a piece that's a little bit smaller than this. And we'll just take the backing off and put it right on here. And then take this off. The one thing with this is when you put it down, it's down. There's no movement. Okay. And then we can tie our um, linen thread. So let me just get this. I'm going to just run it along my beeswax to help it behave. And I'll just cut a piece with my scissors. Look at my fingers. <laughs> I'm going to have to scrub them and we'll just fold this in half i wanted to do two strands you don't have to or you could do three strands sometimes when it's a small bow i like to do a couple of strands and we'll just tie a bow kind of fuss with it a little bit get it the right size And then we'll just cut the ends so that they're even. I did that right over my trash can. Okay, we'll just take a glue dot, one of the mini glue dots, and use your take your pick tool, put it right on the back. And you can put some bling on this. I didn't think it needed it. I kind of liked it without it. But if you wanted to, you could. And then we'll just put this in. So I'm going to use my stamp and seal. That's what I like to use on the insides of my cards. And we've got our first card done. Okay. So here we have our first two cards. And then the next one we'll do is this one. So this one I took some, uh, let me get the pieces. So I cut the sentiment label 
using my favorite dies. I think I use these every day lately. The stylus shape dies, so I'm using this big long one. And I got the sentiment from, I've got all my stuff here, the soft seedlings. So the thinking of you. So let's stamp that first with rich razzleberry. And I have it mounted over here. And just press it down, thinking of you. I love thinking of you cords. And again, I don't put a sentiment on the inside. So this is our outside layer, because I never know who I'm sending it to and for what reason. If I did, you know, I'll just add a sentiment. Um, so on this one, I took some linen thread and I wrapped it around three times and I kind of went a little, uh, I crossed it over a little bit. So we'll do one. Let's see. What am I doing here? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna tape this down first. I think that's my problem. So I'm gonna just tape it right kind of in the middle. And then I wanna go up and down and around. Okay, and then we'll cut it and tape it. Well, let me tape it and cut it. Take my tape. Pull it taut. Okay, let's see how that looks on the upbeat front. And we can just work it around. And we're going to put something over it, so that'll be okay. And then we want to take our thinking of you, but let's put it down first so that it's not bumpy with the thinking of you. So I'm gonna just do my liquid glue. I think this is my favorite one. I love the leaves. I did another video with the leaves where I used sponge daubers to get different colors on it, and that came out really pretty as well. Okay, so now we want the thinking of you. And for something like this, when it's going over ribbon, what I like to do is just take, some people call this the bones of their um, dimensionals, the outside, don't ever throw them away. And I'm gonna put one toward the top and then I'll do the other side. And I'm just guessing how long and they don't have to be exactly the same. And one toward the bottom. Especially if you have a thick ribbon in the middle, then it doesn't get all funny because it's on the ribbon. With the way I did this ribbon, it's probably not gonna make much of a difference. And then we'll just pull off the back. And have your thinking of you. And then I tied kind of a big funny bow. I've seen people do this a lot lately. Let me uh, show you what I'm doing here. This is the card I'm doing. So I just tied, and I'm not using my wax, my beeswax on this one, because I do want it to be a little wild and unruly. Put that up there with another glue dot. My glue dots are over here, getting stuff everywhere, but this is how I like to work. I like to work with stuff everywhere. When I'm finished, sometimes I'm like, oh my goodness, <laughs> how would I ever find anything? And sometimes I have a hard time finding this stuff that I'm working on. It's right in front of my eyes and I'm not seeing it. But I'm at a very little table, so. I don't have a lot of room and this is three cards so it's quite a bit and then I took some of these um, 
the leaves with the amber. I think they're amber dots. I'll have it in my blog, though. Uh, and no, I didn't do that on this one. I did different things on different cards. So this one is the rustic metallic dots. And I just took one of the bigger ones and put that on the thinking of you. I use these other amber dots, um, rhinestones, I think they are, for another card. So these and these. And then we have our last card. Let's get this stuff out of the way. So we're back to this card, and it's going to be dry and everything. And let me get the pieces for this. So this, I used Crush Curry as my card base. And then <clears throat> I thought that, you know, it would pull it out here. And you could decide whether you want it this way or this way. But I think I'm going to go with it this way. And here's the card, just so we have a guide. So let's just put this down first. Oh, and I didn't put the inside in the other card. We have to do that. I see it sitting right up here. All right. We will get that done as well. So I thought the crushed curry kind of popped on this a little bit. So let's get, I did cut some leaves and these I've been using quite a bit. These are the Aspen tree dies. So Aspen trees dies and they have these beautiful leaves that cut and emboss. And then they have this beautiful kind of front oval cut out with a tree. So I already cut them. Um, I cut one with rich raspberry and one with the crushed curry. So we'll put this down. Right up here. This is an easy card. And then put this right over it. I did two of the crushed curry at first and I thought it needed something else to kind of, um, you know, coordinate with it better. And then we have the hello and the hello is from the Hello Harvest stamp set. And I am doing that in crushed curry. And it's pretty tight fit, but it fits. I have, what do I have here? Like fuzz or something. Okay, so I'm looking top to bottom, left to right, and it is a very tight fit, like I said. So we'll close this up, and I'm going to use some more of these bones <laughs> from my, uh, my dimensionals. I'm just going to do a couple more. So again, don't ever throw these away. They're good, and they're good for sometimes the labels when you need a skinny strip. Okay, so we'll just take the backs off of all of these. And put this right here. Hello. And then we can do uh, these amber dots or amber rhinestones. Again, I'll have it on my blog a project sheet with all the information. And I just put a couple of them here and there. Put one little one up here. All right, so let's put the insides in. So this one, I just put a couple of leaves. So let me get my inside layer. So this one is ba uh, the, the white, the basic white. And we'll just do some leaves. The other cards I made was with the very vanilla. So rich raspberry and crushed curry leaves. And aren't they just so pretty? I love how they're embossed. I love these leaves. And then let's put this on the inside and we have to put the other one on the inside as well. So pretty easy. And, you know, as I said, you can save that and make, you could just make a lot of cards with it if you wanted to. And each one will come out a little bit different. And you can do different colors. You don't have to do the colors I chose. I think this kind of like mixed together and looks a little brownish, but I think that's a good fall color. So that's this one. 
and let's get rid of that. So we have these two, and something's missing it inside. We have these two, and then we have these two. This is the one missing the inside. So let's put this inside of this card, and we have three cards made. I have six. Um, pretty quickly, though. There we go. And I love the fall, so I love fall colors. And um, I think these are really pretty. So thanks for joining, and uh, come back again next week. I'll have another video. If you join my mailing list, I'm doing a 12 Weeks of Christmas. So I have a link below here that says um, that you can join my mailing list, and I have exclusive projects for 12 Weeks Christmas projects. And you'll get the prior ones. I'll, I'll just list them each week. Uh, so if you subscribe, you'll you'll get that. Okay. Thanks and have a great day. Bye.